All right. I've been a busy little penguin for the past three days, and I have done some really cool modeling. Now, um, I'm not going to do a tutorial today because uh, some of the models you're going to see took a very long time to do, and there is no way that I could actually squeeze a uh, tutorial because each of these objects that I made took a long time for me to render. They weren't as easy to do as the coffee cup. But you can make models like this just using simple, you know, simple primitives and using the techniques that I demonstrated in making the coffee mug and also in the experiment video uh, that I have up. So let's go ahead and I'm going to uh, select uh, my uh, little butterfly. And here I made an actual butterfly. Let me go ahead into object mode here so that you can have a look at it. And I designed a 3D butterfly that I'm going to later rig so that I can animate. Now as you know on my coffee mug I have a... Uh, let's go ahead and render this so you can see what this looks like. I think it looks pretty cool actually. Now all I need to do is just add some rigging to this and make his wings flap and that sort of thing. You know on my coffee mug I have, uh, you know, uh, tucks holding the fly swatter uh, going after the uh, butterfly and I figured, hmm, Roadrunner and Coyote episode. Who knows what will come up here. Alright, and um, let's open up another object here. Alright, I also made that fly swatter I was telling you about. And here is that object. Can't really see it that well uh, in uh, the uh, object mode. But there's the penguin's uh, fly swatter. Alright, and I even did some improvements on my mug. I uh, did some, uh, I did some uh, fixing along here and uh, I really uh, brought that mug out and made it look nice and I'm very 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 pleased with the results on this one you can see that now everything is smoothed out a lot better and um, that took a lot, of, a lot of work. I put a few extra hours into this and I got a really nice uh, looking um, 3D model out of that. And now for the icing on the cake. Are you ready for this? This took me forever to do and uh, I still have some more work that I would like to do with this. But here it is. Let me pull up my penguin. And here he is in 3D. And uh, I went and I completely rigged this. This took me about three days for me to put together. Let me uh, open up and show you my armatures here. And uh, why don't I go ahead and uh, change this for a moment here so that we can better see what we're doing. Um, let me right click on and make sure that the armature is selected. And actually, while I'm looking for that setting here, maybe I need to go into um, edit mode. Uh, that's why I didn't select the right item. That's the joys of using uh, Blender. I need to make sure that the armature itself is selected. Alright, and now when I go into... We can uh, change that to stick mode. All right, there we go. Now we can see it a little bit better, and you can see here that I've got some uh, armatures. I used a hidden plugin called Rigify, which uh, gave allowed me to use a human skeleton to put on him, and then I made some additional changes as well. So now, when I go into pose mode on this, you will see that I can do some pretty cool things with this. Like, for instance, let me just select uh, this bone here. And I'm just going to grab it, and now I can have uh, the penguin.
penguin's eyes moving up and down it's following that object. Also, I can select different bone and I can position him wherever I want. And that sort of thing. speed around. Well, that's a little bit too much. I have some inverse uh, kinematics I still have to work on here. Uh, there's quite a bit of work left to do on this thing, but I mean, uh, I'm really amazed with what I was able to do um, in this amount of time. Well, I don't want him to bend that much, but, you know, these movements need to be subtle and that sort of thing, but all in all, I'm very, very pleased. Let me go ahead and uh, shut this off here. I am very, very pleased with the results on this. Oh, I gotta show you his mouth open and closes too. Let me uh, put that back on. I'll make that visible. Too much, but yep, I can make his mouth open and close as well. Pretty neat, huh? And let's go ahead and render this so you can see what it looks like uh, after it's been rendered out. I think this is really neat. So there's still a lot more work I'm going to do with this penguin. Um, took a lot of time. Like I said, I still have uh, I still have a lot more to add, and that I think is the hardest part is building the rig for this thing. Even though I'm using a pre-built one that comes with Blender, as you can see on a single core processor, this does take a long time just to render a single image. But fortunately, I have a, another computer that I'm going to be using that will be my render farm. It, all, it too has a single core, but it is strictly going to be just for rendering out my animations and scenes once I'm ready to uh, take these to the next level. But all I can say is, wow, doesn't that look cool? I'm very, very pleased with the results in this, and it took a lot of time to properly shade this to uh, get the right lighting on him and everything. All in all, it's been a lot of fun. I've been wanting to pull my hair up by the roots, too. There's a lot of great tutorials online. I got most of my tutorials on doing this just by doing a search on YouTube. There's a lot of people out there that are doing tutorials on Blender, so you'll definitely want to check them out. Well, that's all there is for now on this update. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.